That is one ice trout. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Get in the boat. What's up guys? Welcome to the wild. We're hooked up. Feels like a decent little red. Oh no, it's a gator trout, man. Nice trout. Nice gator trout. This is our very first episode of Welcome to the Wild. We're stoked. We're bringing you guys with us. Hang on. Let's do it. We got bait. We got to make one more little run to the store. And then we're going to put the boat in. And we're going fishing. We're going to try and catch some trout. Gotta make sure you got it. You got some something to eat on the boat. Those long days. Some beef jerky. We got some water in there. Last but not least, the banana. Yes, we take bananas on boats. Pretty simple rig. We've got a uh, 30 pound mono leader tied to 20 pound braid. And um, basically what you want to do, hook your shrimp right through the top of the head. There's a couple different ways you can do it. You can come from the bottom. Uh, a lot of people hook them in the tail. I like to go through the top of the head, right under his horn right there. Uh, kind of a good little spot. So anyway, let's chunk him out there. See what happens. Kind of fishing backwards right now. We're going to be fishing back to us for a little bit with the tide. So right now it's high tide. Um, we've got about another hour or two of high tide, and you know all, all the bait fish, all your predatory fish, are hugging the grass or either up in the grass right now. Um, so the bike's probably not going to be quite as hot as it will in the next couple hours. Um, when the tide starts coming out, your bait is going to come back out of the marsh and your fish are kind of going to go into a frenzy. They're going to, they're going to get a little more active. Uh, start feeding. We're hooked up. Feels like a decent little red. Oh no, it's a gator trout, man. Nice trout. Nice gator trout. This is our very first episode. We're stoked. We're bringing you guys with us. Hang on, let's do it. All right, let me grab this fish. That is one ice trout. Nice trout. Super nice trout. All right, so basically, what we're doing guys, we're anchored out up in this river and um, tide's still coming in. Uh, the fish are kind of starting to turn on, they're kind of starting to bite. Um, what, we're, what we're doing is taking some live shrimp and basically just floating them down this um, marsh grass and oyster beds and stuff and it holds bait. And these guys want the bait. Nice fish. He's going on ice. And we're gonna cook him later. Sweet. Got 
Another nice trout, you guys. Um, I forgot to bring a net with us. So, you know, we're having to be very, very careful landing these fish. But, let me grab them. You do not want to ever lift this fish. See those teeth? He will put two holes in your finger. Nice, nice, fat, speckled trout. That would be considered a gator trout for this area. Barely looked. Nice fish, you guys. things about this fish um, first of all there this is a summer trout um, there's two different types summer trout winter trout this fish um, he's got some pretty pretty gnarly little teeth right there um, so be careful when you're handling these fish uh, if you look inside of this trout's mouth this fish's mouth you see the yellow outline that shows he is a summer trout and this fish is meat won't hold as long um, as a winter trout. Um, but anyway, you see all his little spots, everything. Uh, he, he's kind of brown on top, you know, this fish, he can stay down and, uh, you know, ambush, ambush his, his prey or his, his food. Uh, he can, can kind of blend in, you know, with the bottom of the river. See what I mean, you guys? These things are supposed to be bad luck on boats, but we got a cooler full of big trout. We're eating a banana on top. We got a few nice trout. We got two really big gator trout in the box. Um, kind of clouding up, getting a little windy. We're actually gonna do another really cool video tonight um, that we're very excited about. Uh, we're gonna go try and catch some sharks, big sharks off the beach. Uh, gonna go in, do a uh, clean and cook um, with the trout. We're about to get out of here and go get ready for the night. We're going to uh, Grandma's little river shack. We'll see you in the kitchen. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we made it back in. And we are about to get ready to clean this trout and uh, cook him up. So basically, how I do it, get him real clean. I like to fillet them and leave the skin on. You can do this with a knife. Uh, they do make scalers to do this with, fork. Uh, you want to make sure you get all these scales off. Get them real nice and clean. Not any fun eating scales. And these bubble blades, if you don't have one, go get one. They're very sharp. Hold up very good. Hold up good.
All right, you want to spray them off. Spray against the scales. Make sure that'll let you see if you missed any. Looks like he's pretty much ready to go. So now, sideways. We're gonna come right here, flip them over. Gonna make one cut right up the center of them. Just like that. out. Save this stuff for grandma for the crab traps. If you look in this fish, I don't know if you can see it, um, they got a bloodline. Most all fish do. But, uh, just kind of cut that open a little bit. Clean them out. You can fillet these things several ways. You can start from this side, you can from this side, I like to from this side. Kind of run right down. And you can put this fish. Not a real big fish. You can kind of just fillet them right out. said there's several several different ways to fillet a fish um, but there you have it fillet number one nice white meat heading up to the kitchen we're going to cook them a couple different ways we're going to fry some and we're also going to use a skillet and kind of roll some maybe blacken i don't know so here we go all right guys so we're here in the kitchen um we've got our flour here we're going to fry a few and uh we're going to kind of pan sear a few um we've got salt and pepper here we're going to like to always add a little salt and a little bit of pepper to shake it around a little bit and they're ready to go. Makes it really easy. Uh, we've got grits on, baked beans, and uh, we're waiting on the grease to heat up, pan to heat up, and we're going to cook some fish. Uh, let's use this one.
Makes it really easy. Um, better as long as we just strain them off and they're ready to go. All right, the grease is hot and we want to cook some fish. Then we're using a citrus seafood seasoning. Um, pretty good seasoning. You just want to kind of lightly, lightly dust them. And when this fish gets close to being done, the way you tell, you'll start seeing the, the fat. These are ready to flip. The skin is still on them, and you don't have to. Come on, put a little more olive oil right in here. You don't have to leave the skin on. And you see how it's kind of, I mean, it's kind of coming off. That's normal when you're kind of painting your pan here and fish. Season them one more time, and then we're going to let them cook on that side a little bit. Let me get that. These fish are almost done. Uh, we're going to flip them once. Oh yeah. oh, yeah, perfect. You see how they kind of caramelize on the top a little bit? Caramelized. Um, so these are very close. Just a touch, touch more on them. But they've got their seasoning on this perfect. They're going to be very good. Fish. I'm go straight to the plate with them. So, very, very careful. Uno and dos. There we go. All right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. A little bit of fried, we got some grits here. We got fried fish, we got um, broiled fish, pan here, whatever you want to call it. Uh, like I said, we just used a um, citrus seafood seasoning. Baked beans, grits, and fish. Doesn't get much better. It's been an awesome day. This is our very first episode. Um, welcome to the wild. Uh, had a pretty good day. Storm kind of came up a little bit. Tides weren't were quite right. Um, if you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, you know any ideas, anything you'd like to see, let us know. Comment in the bottom, uh, and we'll try and try and fit it in on another video. So. Anyway, uh, try some of this fish. Mm. That's good. I left the pin bones and a couple of these fillets. Um, you can just cut them out. Oh, I had a bone. That's good. 
Really good. You can taste the citrus flavor a lot in that fish. See, there's a thin bone right there. A lot of people cut those out, a lot of people don't. Really good. Really, really good fish. Like I said, you can really taste the citrus flavor in that fish. And uh, the fried fish is, is always good, always a favorite. Um, we're going to finish up eating, and we'll see you guys later tonight for a new episode. Uh, we're going to try and go catch some big sharks off the beach, so get ready. See you later.